Well, how's everybody doing tonight? Y'all give a big round of applause just for everybody's put all this together, all the work that's went into it. Praise the Lord. Now I got to make sure that uh, I got to make sure that I see the uh, congregational. Make sure I'll fly away. Y'all know I'll fly away, don't you? Well, we're gonna we're gonna try to do this little bluegrass style. Well, while these guys are getting all situated, I do want to say thank you to Brother Kevin and Stanfield Baptist Church for having me here, and I want to thank you for putting all this work, to, putting all this together, and the work that went into it, because you've created a tabernacle for the Lord right out here outside the church, and we praise God for the souls that were saved. Amen. Y'all give another round for the souls that were saved. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. If you miss that decision in your life, you'll get to the door of eternity and you'll regret every time that you turn down Jesus. And so tonight, if you're here, I don't care if you're old, I don't care how young you are, I hope that you will make time to let the Lord speak to you tonight through the song service and, uh, and through the message because I believe fundamentally the most important thing that you can do with your life no matter what, what stage you're in, is that you make the Lord Jesus Christ first in your life and put God first because the Word says, and all these things will be added unto you after that. So uh, how many of you are glad that you're saved here tonight? Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, I'll tell you what we're, what we're going to do is that just to warm you all up here, we're going to play an instrumental, and then we're going to get you all ready. See, I want to play the instrumental because some of you is probably in low gear. You're just barely going. And so you do this bluegrass gospel, you got to get it up in high gear and get ready to go. So so let's do a little, uh, little go I'm sorry, a lot of gospel. Yeah, he's begging me not too high gear on that. So let's do a little gospel jewel for him about that. <laughs> Jill will praise the Lord. Well, I know some of them's ready to roll. <laughs> Amen. All right. Well, y'all stand up and let's do a little I'll Fly Away. And uh, I'll try to remember. We guy that usually sing is not with us. So if I if you see me back off, y'all keep singing, would you? So, so all right. Let's y'all ready to go. <laughs> so I could get up there a little bit. Well, just a few more weary days and then I'll fly away. Where's the words when I need them? 
so good. <laughs> fly away. I know the next one. Well, I fly away, oh glory. I'll fly away in the morning when I die. Hallelujah, bye bye. I'll fly away. hard on me i never sing that song pastor like that so <laughs> i'll tell you well how many of you this is the first time you've ever been at a tent meeting in a tent revival how many of you has it's ever been look at it a few of you well praise the lord how many of you now i'm, I'm trying to test for integrity how many of you have ever been to a tent meeting before Oh, okay, I want to make sure I'm getting a good census and a poll. You know, after that twenty, after that 2020 election, I'm kind of worried about that stuff, you know. <laughs> better back on out of that one right now, hadn't a better pastor. <sighs> I don't know any hanging chads around here any, either. But, uh, but no, I, it's tent revivals. How, now, I'm going to put one more. How many of you have ever been to a Brush Arbor meeting? How many of you don't know what a brush arbor meeting is? Okay. Well, a brush arbor is simply what it means back years ago when they would go out and there would be congregations that would form. There'd be churches that would be planted and they didn't have a tent. They didn't have anything. And so they would cut brush up. They would cut poles and they would put up these poles and begin to lay brush to create an arbor so that you had a place that you could come together. And, you know, frankly, they didn't have electricity. They didn't have air conditioning. They didn't have lights and different things that you got like this. You know, they had lanterns and things, and they make the brush arbor. So I've actually gotten the experience of preaching under a brush arbor up on the Arkansas line up near Missouri. And in a lot of those places, and you might find it interesting, you know, uh, we get so, uh, what can I say, uh, accustomed to our normal environments. I mean, it's like me. I don't usually reach up and pull my tie down, but, you know, it's got a little hot up here playing this fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> and so we get accustomed to that, but it's amazing when you get in a different situation and you're out here in the breeze and just feel the presence of God, that what he can do. And so in a lot of those places, uh, you, you, you get songs just like this one that, that came out of it called Somebody Touch Me. And we're going to sing another one here in just a few minutes. It's really like that. So we're, I'm proud of y'all standing up, but Somebody Touch Me is right here. Now, I sing it the way I normally do. Let's see how they've got it. They've got it. Glory, glory. So they start with, well, I'm, well, I'm going to start it a little different because we start it with a verse, and then we'll come back to the chorus. But y'all get in there with us on the glory, glory for sure. So we're going to pray first. We're going to sing next. And then I've never done it was on a Sunday ever before. So we're going to do praying, singing, and preaching, okay? <laughs> and we'll do, do that. So this is Somebody Touch Me. Well, while I was praying, somebody touched me while I was praying. Somebody touched me while I was praying. Somebody touched me. It must have been the hand of the Lord. Now, here you go. Well, glory, 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 somebody touch me with glory, glory, glory. Somebody touch me with glory, glory, glory. Somebody touch me, it must have been the hand of the Lord. Take a little bit of All right, we're singing now. Well, while I was singing, 
Somebody touch me while I was singing. Somebody touch me while I was singing. Somebody touch me, it must have been the hand of the Lord. Well, glory, glory, glory. Somebody touch me, glory, glory, glory. Somebody touch me, glory, glory, glory. Somebody touch me, it must have been the hand of the Lord. Somebody touch me while I was preaching. Somebody touch me while I was preaching. Somebody touch me, it must have been the hand of the Lord. Well, glory, glory, glory. Somebody touch me, glory, glory, glory. Somebody touch me, glory, glory, glory. Somebody touch me, it must have been the hand of the Lord. Oh, it must have been the hand of the Lord. There you go. There you go. Well, we got through it, y'all. Give yourselves another hand. You got through a couple of songs you don't normally hear. But um, I want to, I think I'm going to bring Mr. Bob up here. Bob, you ready to sing one for him? Yeah, I think so. All right. How many of you know that this country has sort of got off kilter? Okay. How many of you know that one of the main things that needs to happen in America right now is that we get back to God and the Bible? Amen. And we need people to stand up and say so. Amen. That's my opinion. And so this is a little song that, uh, that we've done. It's been a long time. In fact, I'll just tell you, I want to introduce my guys here real quick. This is Bob Steele from over near Pickles Gap in Conway, Arkansas. I'll give him a hand. And over to my far left, but by no means his political background, <laughs> Mr. Carmen Devanzo from Conway, Arkansas. And you're actually from Beaver Fork. He's from Pickles Gap, I guess that's what I should say. And then right here, and both, all of these guys have been playing for years and years in bluegrass. In fact, Carmen has got, got an award-winning family. They've raised some fantastic fiddle players, banjo pickers, everything. They've just done great. And uh, but right here is probably one that's got its own song. Bill Nesbitt from Little Rock, Arkansas. Give him a hand. He is he's been known everywhere. And this is the first time that Bill, excuse me, that Carmen and, and Bob have been with me in several months. And so like when we played at Life Tabernacle that uh, with my good friend, Miss Sue Reedy and her church, we played there. We had several different players because COVID's kind of got everything all jumbled up. And so we're just getting back together. But we enjoy playing bluegrass gospel music. We play all over the place. We played for Sarah Huckabee Sanders the other night in uh, White County. It's Searcy. And so we're going up tomorrow night playing up at the Randolph County and Lawrence County uh, Reagan Dinner, I think it is. We're going up there. And then next Saturday on the 23rd, we're going to be playing at Bald Knob, Arkansas. They're having a big truck rally, apparently, from the Capitol with flags of people that just believe in God and country. They're flying their American pride and American patriotism and they're driving all the way to Bald Knob, Arkansas. They're telling me it may be a thousand vehicles. I don't know how much it's gonna be. Who knows, Donald Trump might fly in there. That'd turn Bald Knob on, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would be great. If you're, if you're listening, I don't know if you're live streaming this one tonight or not, but uh, Donald, welcome to Arkansas if you wanna come on back. But, uh, but this is a song that's actually got a great message to it, and I want Bob to do it. It's called, I'm Using My Bible for a Roadmap. I'm using my Bible for a roadmap. Ten Commandments, they tell me what to do. The twelve disciples are my road signs, and Jesus will see me safely through. There'll be no detours in heaven, road rough roads along the way. I'm using my Bible for a roadmap. My 
a star in heaven some sweet day. Children of Israel used it too. They crossed the Red Sea of destruction, for God was there to see them through. There'll be no detours in heaven, no rough roads along the way. I'm using my Bible for a roadmap. My last stop is heaven, some sweet day. Sweetheart, does my tie look terrible now? Okay, this is my wife, Laurie, right here. I wasn't just talking to the sweetheart on the front row. I was talking to my wife. Yeah, yeah. Well, this one is I'm going to do. And actually, if you see me every now and then, reach down and flip this. When you're playing this, this fiddle, uh, it actually will vibrate the pin on the bottom of my fiddle. So that's the reason I turned that over. I've just not got a tick or something, you know. I'm just trying to get that over there. But that's right. Well, this is actually a song that we really enjoy doing, really love doing. And it is literally, uh, the, the derivation of this has got to be from a tent revival somewhere. And, and actually, I've, I know that uh, my friends here, uh, my bluegrass friends that I've already talked to, I learned this song literally under the Black River Bridge in Pocahontas, Arkansas. It was about probably 9 or 10 o'clock at night. There was a big festival up there, and my buddies from Wynn, Arkansas were picking and uh, my grandpa Jarrett was still alive. And by the way, that's where I learned to play the fiddle. My grandfather's name was Conway Jarrett uh, from Warm Springs, Arkansas. Does anybody know where Warm Springs, Arkansas? Not a soul knows where Warm Springs, <laughs> Arkansas, but it's up on the Missouri line. And he said, come on over here and meet these guys. And had a little guy named O'Neill Hicks. He's standing about five foot tall and about three foot wide. And, and O'Neill was singing this song. And we, he ended up having me cut this. I actually come and did the fiddle work for him on a CD. And then later, we have cut it on a CD. And it's become probably one of our favorites. A lot of people get it. You can even go online and, and Google it and, and see us playing this. But this is one called the Holy Ghost. Th say, thank God, say, thank God for, the Ghost. for the Holy Ghost. Because, you know, what you, when you think about this, we often forget it's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And according to theologically, Jesus is at where? At the right hand of the Father. And he said, there's one that comes after me, right? And so the Holy Spirit descended on him like a dove. You know, the first thing that Jesus did when he began his actual ministry is he went to John the Baptist to do what? To get baptized. And, and really the first message preached was repent and believe. That was the first message. And so he gets baptized, and he said, they, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit descended on him like a dove. Because when you come to know the Lord Jesus Christ, it says that we are filled with the Holy Ghost at that time. Yes. Say filled. filled. Filled with the Holy Ghost. Now, that means everybody. Even, even the Baptists, even the Church of Christ, <laughs> even the Pentecostal. I mean, and there's another story there in John 17, you know, but Father, as you are in me and I am in you, pray that we may be made one in them. Because when we're worshiping the same Jesus, then we have the same Holy Spirit. Amen. And so this is a song about a guy that got all excited uh, when he got uh, saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. And I hope that you enjoy this. Sometimes up 
I was sometimes down, I was sometimes spinning around and round. It's sometimes in, it's sometimes out, it's sometimes faith, it's sometimes doubt. Well, I got baptized in the Holy Ghost, and my how things have changed. Well, I'm no longer moved by the things of this world, and I am no longer the same. I've got the Holy Ghost deep down inside. There's a brand new fire in me. Well, I've been sanctified by the blood of the Lamb, and by His Holy Spirit I'm free. Well, I've got joy in my hands. i got joy in my feet. i got joy in this heart of mine. Well, since the Holy Ghost came, I've not been the same. He's flowing out of me all the time. Feel a love ball. Sometimes sin again and again. Well, I got baptized in the Holy Ghost. I want the whole wide world to know there's victory over sin when you get born again. I get filled with that Holy Ghost power. There's nothing God can't do. Let Him do it for you. Ask Jesus for the Holy Ghost now. I've got the Holy Ghost deep down inside. There's a brand new been sanctified by the blood of the Lamb, and by His Holy Spirit I'm free. Well, I've got joy in my hands, i got joy in my feet, i got joy in this heart of mine. Well, since the Holy Ghost came, I've not been the same, He's flowing out of me all the time. Since the Holy Ghost came, I've not been the same, He's flowing out of me all the time. You see, in bluegrass, that's what you call a fake out. We usually have got a banjo player that's not with us here tonight, and they're usually we play another break, and you can tell my voice I've been talking all week, and I faked them out there. I just, but y'all did really good. When you come back on that deal, I, I appreciate that. You did really good. Well, I hope you enjoyed that song, and you can go Google it and pull it up with the fullness and having the, the banjo and everything. Well, we're going to just play a couple more numbers, I see, because I do have a message here, and, and uh, I came here most of all to deliver the word tonight. I've enjoyed uh, being able to play and sing, and, and I've noticed my voice. I hope my voice doesn't sound as bad to you as it does to me, but if it does, pray for me, and it would just be better. But I do want to uh, have these guys play this song, uh, Three Men on a Mountain. It's actually a very, very powerful song, the message to it. And uh, one that I hope that you're going to enjoy. And uh, Carmen and Bob introduced me to this song several years ago. And he's got a tune down for it is what he's doing. And uh, I think that you're going to really enjoy that. And then we're going to sing a couple more. And then we're going to preach. Y'all ready for that? Amen. 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 Three men on a mountain. Yeah, thank you. One, one more step in the process. <laughs> oh. oh, he's got one more step in there he's got to do. Yeah, yeah, All right, there we go. <laughs> Three men on a mountain up on Calvary.
sinner too. But he was sorry for his sins. He asked the Lord forgiveness, and Jesus said to him, Fear not, fear not, for this is the day. Before this day is over, you'll be with me in paradise on heaven's golden shore. Dreaming on a mountain, up on Calvary, the man in the middle was Jesus, he died for Didn't you like that? It's got a beautiful, beautiful message to it, beautiful sound to it, and I'm going to let him get himself tuned all back up here. And uh, I'm going to throw this one in, you know, just because I love this, and it's a song that often when we're doing songs out everywhere, whether it's bluegrass stuff or country stuff, will the circle be unbroken? Y'all remember that? Yeah. Why don't y'all stand up with me? Let's just do will the circle be unbroken, and we'll get ready to to hear the word tonight. And so. Back a G chord, G chord. So there we go. Y'all ready? Thank y'all very much. Y'all may be seated, and uh, we appreciate you guys. Th these guys did a good good job, didn't they? Give them a good hand. Yeah. 